Hello, we are so excited to be able to provide you with information to register for your classes next year. Your teacher was given registration cards for you to fill out and select your classes for the 2017-2018 school year. Today we will quickly take you through how to fill out your registration card. Please note that this presentation will also be available on the Greenwood Lakes Middle School website if you need to reference it later. Take a look at the top of your registration card. Be sure that your name, parent's name, address, and phone number are correct. If there is something that is incorrect, please draw a line through the wrong information and write the correct information in the space available. Make sure that your ethnic and race categories are correctly identified. If one or both of your parents are active in the military, please check yes to indicate that you are a military student. Next, look at the course number column. Course numbers are located next to the course title on the inside of your registration card. We will review this shortly. The next column is where you will notate if you would like a standard or advanced level class. We will also review this information shortly. The course name column is where you will list the title of the course. For example, Language Arts 2. Notice I wrote an A to indicate an advanced class in the column where you indicate advanced or standard coursework. The next column is blank. However, you may find it helpful to indicate whether the course is a year or half a year long. You will need enough coursework to fill a seven period day. For example, language arts is a full year course. You may write down a one for one year. Art is a half of year. You would write down 0.5 in the column. Your total at the very bottom should equal at least seven courses. The last column is where each teacher will approve your coursework. Your core academic teachers will initial all registration cards this Friday, February 3rd. This is the time where you can talk to your teachers about recommendations for standard or advanced level classes. On the back of your card, you will find all of the coursework you have already completed as well as prior standardized testing information. This slide highlights all of the core coursework that you must take next school year. This information can also be found inside your registration card. Now, let's begin filling out our registration card for next school year. Let's start with language arts. For sixth grade students, you may choose from either standard or advanced Language Arts 2. For 7th grade students, you may select either Standard or Advanced Language Arts 3. Please write down your selection now. Next, we will look at Science. 6th graders will select Comprehensive Science 2. 7th graders may choose from either standard or advanced physical science. Please write your selection down now. Now, let's look at social studies. Sixth graders will take civics. Seventh graders may choose from the following. Standard U.S. history, advanced U.S. History, or Pre-AP U.S. History. Please write down your selection now. Math can be a little tricky, so let's take it step by step. Sixth graders, if you are in Standard Math 1, next year you will take Standard Math 2. If you are currently in Advanced Math 1, Next year, you will select Advanced Math 2. 
if you are currently a GEM student, you will sign up for Algebra 1 Honors next year. Seventh graders, if you are currently in standard seventh grade math, next year you will sign up for pre-algebra. If you are taking Math 2 Advanced right now, you will sign up for either Algebra 1 Standard or Algebra 1 Honors. Please make sure you discuss these options with your math teacher to ensure best placement. In addition, if you are currently an Algebra 1 Honors student, you will select Geometry Honors for next school year. Please write down your selections now. Each student must take a half a year of PE. You may request a full year by indicating all year next to the course title. Sixth graders, you are required as a seventh grade student to take the I Journeys course. Seventh graders, as an eighth grader, you are required to take the I Connect course. Please indicate those on your registration card now. Now you may list your elective requests. Please make sure you list your requests in order of preference. For example, if art is most important to you, you should write that directly below either your iJourneys or iConnect course. Please write down at least six electives, and we will do our best to accommodate your requests. Please note that your electives may change due to your performance on this year's FSA. A need for intensive reading and or intensive math will replace one or more of your electives. This slide details all of the elective coursework that we have to offer at Greenwood Lakes Middle School. Please note that all of these courses are also located on the inside of your registration card. Tonight, please make sure that you have written down all of the course numbers that correlate with the classes that you've selected. Remember, course numbers are located next to the course title on the inside of your registration card. This is very important as you will have limited time to enter in your request in the lab and we want to make sure that you have enough time to select all of your coursework. Remember, have your teacher initial your card this Friday, February 3rd. Please make sure that the card is signed by both you and your parent. Starting next week, students will be invited to Lab F on the bus ramp during their math classes to register for next year. Please make sure that your card is completely filled out, including course numbers, as you will have limited time to enter your request online. Please write your lab date on the top right-hand corner of your registration card. Ms. Nelson's sixth grade classes will meet on Monday, February 6th. Ms. Stevens and Ms. Russo's classes will meet on Tuesday, February 7th or Wednesday, February 8th. Ms. Bloomdahl's classes will meet on Monday, February 13th. Ms. Nunn and Ms. Furch's classes will meet on Tuesday, February 14th or Wednesday, February 15th. If you have any further questions, please make sure that you speak to your guidance counselor at lunch.